hello and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing good so today in this video we will learn how we can use local variables in a stored procedure okay so without wasting further more time let's get right into the video so here is a syntax to create a stored procedure okay you have to define the name of your stored procedure which should be meaningful and parameters can be defined inside these parentheses in case you need one okay then we have this begin and end statement which consists of a set of SQL statements that execute together. Begin statement is used to mark the beginning of an SQL transaction and once the begin statement is executed, all the following SQL queries will be part of the transaction. On the other hand, the end statement is used to mark the end of an SQL transaction. Cool. So before we dive into that, let us also understand the use of delimiter command which plays a crucial part when creating a stored procedure. So delimiter command is basically used to define the end of the stored procedure. This is because stored procedure contains multiple SQL statements separated by semicolons and changing the delimiter from its default to some other character ensures that MySQL correctly interprets the end of the procedure and doesn't end the procedure prematurely. Okay. Here we have a table called employee with the following structure id name age salary now we would want to create a stored procedure to calculate the total salary by age we will be calculating the total salary of all the employees whose age is 26 now let's go ahead and create one so first of all we will have to declare a variable that is going to hold the total salary so to declare a variable we use declare statement declare followed by the name of the variable which is going to be total salary make sure to keep it meaningful okay and the data type which is going to be decimal okay this declare statement initializes a variable by assigning it a name and a data type and by default when a variable is declared its value is set to none now we have to get the salary of all those employees whose age is 26 right so to get that we will be writing an sql query select sum of salary okay from employee table where that's a condition right where age is equal to 26 cool but I want to assign the result of this query set to this variable which I have declared. How can I do that? So to assign the value of this query to that variable, I just have to use into total salary. Okay. Total my bad salary. Okay. That's done. Now I would also like to output the content of this variable. So to do that, I just have to write another select statement. Select total salary. In case you want some other temporary name than this, you can do that using as followed by your preferred column name. Okay. Total salary. Cool. So now I'm going to apply my changes. And if you take a look at this, MySQL has prepared the SQL script, the proper SQL script for you, which you don't really have to worry about. This is all being taken care by MySQL itself. Just look at this delimiter command. Let me tell you how this works. As I said before, MySQL uses the semicolon as a statement delimiter. Okay. And when creating stored procedures, if you use semicolons within the procedure body, MySQL might interpret these semicolons as the end of the entire procedure definition rather than just the end of the individual statements okay so just to avoid that issue we temporarily change the delimiter to something else here we have changed the delimiter to this dollar symbol while defining it and once this is defined once the procedure is defined we reset the delimiter back to semicolon back to this semicolon to let mysql know that this is the end of the stored procedure definition okay so i am going to now hit the apply button the script has been executed i'll just click on finish all right now in order to call the procedure i can either use call command or just right click on this and then procedure call okay 
I'll just now click this to execute the selected portion and there you go. Here we have the temporary name of our column as defined. Okay, total salary 6000. Let's go back and cross check. So in employee table, we have records of two employees whose age is 26 and their salary is 2000 and 4000 respectively, which make a total of 6000, right? So the output which we are getting is correct but there is one more way of assigning a value to a variable okay instead of doing this we can just use set statement to initialize a value to a variable okay set i'll just copy the name of my variable and paste in here okay set total salary is equal to and this has to be inside parenthesis cool and this time we will be calculating the total salary of all the employees whose age is 25 okay i'll just change this to 25 and now i'm gonna apply my changes I'm gonna hit this apply button and query has been executed successfully now i'm just gonna recall this here i can just hit this button which will execute this portion this time the output is 3000 why because there is only one record where age is 25 yeah and salary is 3000 so that's pretty much for the day if you want more such videos please like my video share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video cheers bye bye